Hey guys, it's Jessica. Today I am going to be reviewing something I've had so many questions from you guys about. It's a new line from ColourPop and the line is called their Pretty Fresh Collection. So they have a primer, they have a spray, and they have a tinted moisturizer. The premise behind this collection is that it's all very hydrating, light coverage. All of the products have hyaluronic acid and coconut water. So both of those are great hydrators. Hyaluronic acid can kind of help keep the hydration in your skin throughout the day. It's one of my favorite ingredients in skincare. So it's always exciting when it's found in actual like makeup as well, because then when I'm piling something on my face, I don't feel like I'm doing complete damage to my skin. I mean, I got my like little notes I've made and I'm excited. So all I put on my face today is just my SPF moisturizer and I put a vitamin C serum on underneath. I do that before I put anything on my face. So for me, that's kind of like, this is a scientific experiment that is like the baseline. I always do that. So we will start with their primer. So the exact name is the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. This retails for $12 on ColourPop's website. I love the kind of frosted, I think it's technically plastic packaging, but it looks really high end. And it's got a pump and a little lid for the pump. The entire line's aesthetic is really, really pretty. Like. This is totally the kind of thing I fall for and I see it, I'm like, ooh. The primer has the same hyaluronic acid and coconut water in it and it just says to apply to clean or moisturized skin. Like I said, I'm moisturized. Okay, so it feels like a lotion. It has a very lotion-y, almost gel lotion texture. There is a smell that reminds me of coconut like suntan lotion. I don't even know that it's coconut. It, there's something about, oh no, it probably is that there's coconut water in it, right? But it's it's not overbearing and it doesn't smell sickeningly strong and it's definitely like already dissipated. So that applied really, really nicely. I just feel like it, it just felt like a lotion. My skin feels soft. It's not super tacky or anything like that, but it definitely feels moisturized. It looks moisturized, I mean. I, I've got to keep a level head because I'm already predisposed in my mind to like this because I like the ingredients, I like the packaging, price point. So I'm trying to like keep a cool, calm head because it's exciting. So I'm enjoying this. As we move through the colder seasons, I feel like this is released at a nice time because this is a time of year. As my skin changes and gets a little bit drier, I would want to reach for something like this. So far, first impression, enjoying it. We are going to check in at the end of the day so y'all can see how it wears. Honestly, I'm getting ready a little bit late in the day. It's already like 3 p.m. So I've just been editing so much that I was like, Jessica, you got to film today. I can't think of a primer that I already own or have tried that feels like this. So I'll keep racking my brain, but I can't think of anything so far. It's just a really soft moisture, not like a tacky moisture not nah, it's just it's soft we're gonna try the star of the show the pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer this comes in 24 shades which for a tinted moisturizer is pretty good a lot of foundations are now coming in larger shade ranges which is amazing you know 40 plus shades but for a tinted moisturizer when it's not as high coverage it's a little bit more forgiving when it comes to shade matching yourself I played with a few of them and I think Fair 4-In is my closest match. I'm like, I have self-tanner that's wearing off. I know I look like a ghost right now. So, I mean, I'm sure you're like, okay, Jessica, sure you have self-tanner on wearing off. But I love this kind of packaging. It's actually the same kind of packaging as my favorite BB cream that I'm gonna try not to compare it to, but I'm going to be comparing it to in my head, which is from Misha. And you can get it, it's usually a little over $20 on their actual website. It's a Korean brand but you can find it on Amazon. I've heard a lot of you guys say that you get it on there for 10, 12 bucks and it's the real deal. But I have heard one or two people tell me that they've gotten it and it's not. I don't know, I've had more people tell me it is the real thing than not. So it's, it's if you wanna take the gamble. So that's my favorite. That's what's gonna be in my head while I'm trying this. This is $14, it's oil free. Again, it's got the hyaluronic acid in it, that coconut water in it that's just supposed to be super hydrating. And I know it's not supposed to be a high coverage kind of product. So I'm just getting, I did like two pumps on my hand and I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers because that's the way, I mean, with the tinted moisturizer for me, that's the way I like to apply it. I do have a moist sponge here um, and a brush. I know I won't like it with a brush because I, for tinted moisturizers for me, I feel like the heat of your hand is gonna be your best friend. But on the application tips on their site, it actually said that, uh, oh my gosh, this is already nice. On the application tips on their site, they said uh, only to use your hand to like dab in certain areas. And I was like, 
I'll be using my hand for the entire performance today. Thank you. It definitely covered a good amount of my like freckles and a little bit of redness I had. You can definitely still see freckles though. I mean, you're not getting away from that, but I do think it like if I'm trying to get out the door really fast and I just, I want some of that redness to be tampered down. This did a pretty good job and I think it was a pretty darn good shade match. Let's see if one more layer will do anything and maybe I will use the sponge. Got a sponge that is barely damp because I feel like if it's too damp, I don't know, it just doesn't do as nice of a job. I've been playing with the dampness level of my sponge. Oh, it does apply really well with the sponge. So I take back what I said. This, I mean, a lot of times tinted moisturizers get weird when you introduce a sponge, but that did a nice job. And it did a better job for sure around my nose at kind of making sure there's product not like catching like in the dry areas around my nose or anything like that. So first impressions, it's definitely lighter coverage. Definitely has a lot more coverage than like the Glossier kinds of products where it really, you feel like you didn't do anything. This definitely covered some. So there's, for me, a reason to put it on other than just like skincare. It actually did cover nicely. Nowhere near the coverage of my Misha BB cream, but this is still nice. And it just, I feel like my skin looks fresh and ooh. Again, first impression, enjoying, we're gonna see. I can tell you right now, my nose is naturally red and it gets a little oily compared to the rest of my face. If I don't set that with powder, it will 100% be gone in an hour or two. Most products are, so that's just something to be aware of. I know that when we check in later, it won't be there, but I'll be curious to see how it looks around the rest of my face, etc. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we'll come back and we'll try the setting mist. Where is this light coming from? All right, it's still cut. I okay, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Let me pop in a clip real fast of what this looks like in natural lighting because it is even prettier. So natural lighting, like I said, you can still see freckles, but it, all the redness is evened out. I think it looks really nice. And like today's makeup look that I did, I still have a mess back behind me, literally was like a five minute makeup look. I didn't put anything else on my face. I did powder my nose and I powdered right here. And then I powdered that little area where I put concealer just cause again, I know it's gonna move around no matter what I'm wearing. So I wanna give this a, a true shot the way I would actually use it. I just feel like my skin looks healthy. The redness is gone. A little bit of the brown, you know, freckles is tamed down, but it's not over the top tamed. I think it looks nice. Obviously this is not gonna be for you if you're someone that has a lot to cover. That's not what this is about. That's not what this product is for. So I did wanna try this setting spray really fast. So this is their hyaluronic acid setting mist. Again, the same kind of claims and ingredients that it's got hyaluronic acid and coconut water, supposed to be super hydrating. It says it's an ultra fine mist. It does seem pretty good. I don't want it to be overly dewy because I, again, I wouldn't always pair a setting mist with a tinted moisturizer for me. Usually those are hydrating. Whoa, that's a strong smell. Let's just try it. Yeah, it is definitely a fine mist. It said, of course, you could put this on its own on your face. You can put it on makeup throughout the day to refresh your makeup. It, it does, it, the smell is pleasant to me. It's the same kind of scent as the primer. I feel like this scent's a little bit stronger, stronger, but again, it dissipates. So it's something to keep in mind if your skin is sensitive to certain smells or just you generally are, it might be overpowering. I think it added a little bit of that hydration. I'm sure you could put even more on and it would be even more dewy. And it did say on the site that if you wanted to put this over like setting powder, especially to kind of get rid of that powdery look, that, that this would be great for it. And I'm sure that it would be. I would probably use this the same way I would use my L'Oreal Shake and Glow Dew Mist that I really like. This is like a more useful version to me compared to like the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I like it, but only in certain settings, certain areas of the face, because it's hydrating, but it almost has like oil in it. This is way more, um, lightweight but still hydrating so if you thought about that you'd probably like this more honestly it's it's more useful to me it's not as crazy dewy right off the bat so i will check in at the end of the day i've got a lot of things to get done i've got some errands to run um dinner to make i'd like to work out we'll see if that actually happens so we're really going to put this through the test and i will see you guys at the end of the day all right so it's a little bit after 10 o'clock so this has been on about seven hours not a full on like wear test but not bad um, I was looking at it in my mirror here and it's definitely worn off a little bit on my nose, but the thing is when I'm using a tinted moisturizer because it's not like a full coverage type product, anywhere something has worn off, like I sweat today, I did end up going on a run. I know you 
proud of me. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> where I sweat, you can't tell where it most likely wear off because it's not such a stark difference where that like a high coverage foundation would have been. So I can't believe that more of the redness in my face is not showing through. It always shows through on my cheeks when I wear products like this, even with my Misha BB cream. After seven or eight hours, if I went on a run, did all that, I feel like I would start to see a little bit more. So that surprised me. I'm interested to try this more. I'll probably update you guys on my Instagram, like in an Instagram story or something. Um, after I've tried it a few more weeks, that primer I enjoy too. I can't wait to pair that primer with other, like maybe more mattifying foundations just to see if it's one that typically makes my skin feel dry, see how that primer kind of helps it and see if it eliminates dry patches and things like that. The spray, I mean, I'll use it some more. I could see that being a product in a year I declutter if I don't use up because I don't think it's anything revolutionary, but it is nice. But the smell is strong, kind of like the primer. I like the idea that these have some good skincare in it. So at least, again, when you're putting it on your face every day, you don't feel like you're just putting only bad stuff. There's at least something good in it. And I don't think any of the products so far were duds. I can't wait to play with them some more. I would say if you are someone that has struggled to find a tinted moisturizer you like and or a shade in a tinted moisturizer, this might be the line for you. 14 bucks. And I really, I was surprised by how well it wears. I would be curious to know how this wears on someone with oily skin because I could see it breaking apart a little bit more, maybe not staying in place as well. So maybe you'd have to pair it with like a mattifying primer or maybe just set it with powder a little bit more, I'm not sure. But I liked it. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.